Well, hey everyone, we did it. Yesterday, we were invited into St. Francis Xavier School by our good friend Sue Milano, who I've known for 20 years, and we had the opportunity to bloom Mrs. Lauk's third grade classroom with her, and her children were there, and my children were there, and it was so heartwarming. Of course, as soon as we got there, Alexis started goofing off <laughs> and posing with the different posters. We got to cutting right away, because it was after school, and, and we knew everybody but he was tired. It was 115 in Phoenix. Oh, but such joy. Um, so we got there. We met the principal. We met Sue. We met Mrs. Lauk. We started cutting out the banner pieces because I didn't cut them beforehand because I didn't want the corners to get um, like pushed in. Uh, then we laid out the banners across the tables and across the floors to make sure that they were all hooked up onto the twine properly. And we um, we started hanging the banners. It was Mrs. Lauk's brilliant idea, and I just say this to help you for the future, to hang from the bottom up because the bigger words, you know, with kindness are, are huge. It's really long. And so we did that row first, and then it was very easy to line up the rest of the, the banner. And the banner was so stunning. I was wishing that I had printed out a few additional words so that we could hang them other places where the children could get up really close and see the characters, look at Thinker B, and, and look at the worm fuzzies and talk about them. So um, we'll, we'll actually provide that to this classroom and do it in the future as well. The other thing is, note to self, bring a ladder. <laughs> Thank gosh Alexis and Mrs. Luck were able to climb up on her sturdy oak bookcase because wow it was a big banner and it was tall and then we had the opportunity to um, make a bulletin board so the additional pieces of art like the kindness calculator and the caper awards and certificates and the lists of all the wonderful behaviors that the children can do in order to enhance their social emotional literacy they'll go on to this bulletin board as they're exchanging seeds of kindness and and really implementing bloom your room so, uh, Bloomy Room is going into Toronto and London, Mexico, Ohio, Connecticut. Uh, we're so excited. Join us. Let's really transform the cultures of classrooms uh, this year back to school. Let's really show the children how to be kind, what words, thoughts, and actions to use in order to lift education up.